Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice homemade exponential equation. We've done a similar problem before. Actually, it was a little bit more complicated, maybe. Uh, I'll share the link down below and also here so you can check it out. But we have x to the power x to the power 3 equals 2 to the power 2 to the power 14. And we're going to be solving for x values. And we're going to look at a couple things first. And then at the end, we can also check our solutions. So let's go ahead and see what x value is given by Wolfram Alpha for this equation. Obviously, Wolfram Alpha is a really good tool if you haven't used it before. It can solve a lot of great problems and also uh, write a very large number with so many digits, unlike Desmos. Anyway, so x is 592 point something, but we're going to find that value. As you can see here, Wolfram, uh, I mean, Lambert's w function is used to evaluate this expression. And the number that you see there, 16,384, is actually 2 to the 14th power. And log is the natural log, which is ln. Anyways, let's take a look at how big this number is. And have you looked at it before, I believe? 2 to the power, 2 to the power 14 is a very, 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 very large number. And its decimal approximation, as you can see, is 1.1897 something times 10 to the power 4932, which means this number has, this number has 4933 digits. If you click on more digits in Wolfram Alpha, it's going to give you more and more. I don't know how many you know, pages this is going to take, but yes, this is a very, very large number. Okay, let's continue with the solution. So we have this equation, which is 2 to the power, uh, actually I should write the left hand side first, let me check. It is x to the power, x to the power. Oh, by the way, I wrote this, this is not the solution to our equation, I forgot to mention that. Because when we say x to the power, x to the power 3, when I write something like this, this is not what I mean, okay? Because this can be expressed as x to the power 3x. So the solution that you see for, from Wolfram Alpha is actually the solution for this equation, which we're not interested in, but I just wanted to show you, if you make a mistake, that's what you get. Make sense? Okay, anyways, uh, that also tells you that you can use Lambert's W function to solve this problem, because you can basically ln both sides that is going to bring down the 3x, and then 3x ln x, you're going to get something like this, equals 2 to the 14 ln 2, and then you can basically, you know, uh, just multiply both sides by, you can basically do the following. Uh, you can write this as, you can call this t, and then use substitution to so to solve the problem. How does it apply to our situation? I'll, I'll talk about that as well if I, we have some time left. Anyways, uh, so this is the value. We talked about it and let's get to the solution. Okay, so we have x to the power, x to the power 3 equals 2 to the power, 2 to the power 14. Now, if you had a problem like x to the power, x to the power 3 equals 2 to the power, 2 to the power 3, this would be nice because you could immediately say x is equal to 2. But that's not the case. But don't worry about it. We can still do that in a little bit. So, in other words, this means x is probably a power of 2. Okay. We can also use that as a solution method. But let's proceed with the plan. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and write this as... I'm going to start with the 2 to the power 2 to the power 14 and write it as follows. So let's go ahead and write this as 2 to the power, 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 12, because as you know, that's what 2 to the power 14 is, right? 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. So I can do that. And then I'm going to use a little trick here, which is basically I'm going to put this number inside the parentheses like this, and then keep the 2 to the 12 on the outside. Make sense? So that way I'm going to be able to associate the base and the exponent better because obviously exponent is base cubed. Make sense? So that's what I'm trying to get. So in other words, I'm trying to turn this into something like a to the power a cubed so I can immediately say, hey, x is equal to a. Okay, great. Now, let's see how this works out. So once we did that, we can basically write this as 2 to the fourth power, 
to the power 2 to the power 12. And then 2 to the power 12, as you know, is 2 to the 4th cubed. Therefore, now you have the equality you were looking for. x must be 2 to the 4th power, which is 16. Because if x is equal to 16, then x cubed is going to be 16 cubed, and this is going to work. I'm not saying this is the only solution, but it's probably the only solution. Okay, great. So let's see how we can work this out a little differently, especially using Lambert's W function. Okay? So here's what we can do. So let's, that's, that's going to be our second approach. So we have x to the power x cubed equals 2 to the power 2 to the power 14. And then I can just go ahead and ln both sides with the natural log. Okay? If you ln both sides, then you're going to get something like this. Let's go ahead and move this away a little bit. And I'm going to ln this and ln that. And when you ln something to the power something, like ln a to the power b, it automatically becomes b times ln a. You know, if you're dealing with real numbers, of course, um, a to the b must be positive, a must be positive, so on and so forth. Anyways, so basically, the, what is the exponent here? So we got to be careful. 3 is the exponent of x, but that's not the exponent for x. When x is the base, the exponent is x cubed, so we have to bring that down. So that gives us x cubed times ln x equals 2 to the 14, 14 times ln 2. Awesome. So let's do a little bit of manipulation here. Now I have x cubed ln x. I'm going to use substitution here, obviously. But I want to turn this into something a little nicer because the right-hand side uh, needs some work. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write this as 2 to the power, as before, basically, 2 to the power 12 times 2 to the power 2 times ln 2. Here it's a little easier to break down because we brought down the exponent, which was an exponential. So things are a little easier, better. That's why we use uh, logs, especially with, uh, you know, in chemistry, logs are used for pH and pOH, right? Is that the pOH? Anyways, whatever, something like that. And you can basically uh, make very lum large numbers smaller, okay? So now we're going to take this and put it back because the the exponent rule can be used in both directions. So this gives us x cubed ln x equals 2 to the power 12 times ln 2 to the power 2 squared, which is 4. Okay? Now, when you look at this, what are you thinking, right? This, if x is equal to 2 to the 4th, then x to the 3rd is going to be 2 to the power 12. So this is actually going to work. But again, Let's not just rely on this, but use Lambert's W function. We can do that. Let's go ahead and call ln x something. How about t? This gives us x equals e to the t, and from here x cubed becomes e to the power 3t. So let's go ahead and multiply. I mean, first replace, make the replacements. So that's going to give us x cubed will be replaced with a to the e to the power 3t, and ln x will be replaced with t. And then on the right hand side, we're going to do something similar. Let's call this k for constant. So, I mean, not that thing. Um, actually, in the first one, okay, so I call this one t. So I'm, now I'm going to call this one k, the whole thing with the log. And ln 2 to the fourth equals k. And then from here, e to the k is equal to 2 to the fourth. Okay? So what we're going to do is, obviously, this is 16. And 2 to the 12th is just going to be 2 to the 4 cubed which is e to the k cubed, which is e to the power 3k. Okay, let's go ahead and make those replacements. We get e to the power 3t times t equals 2 to the power 12, which is going to be replaced, which is going to be replaced with e to the power 3k multiplied by ln 16, which is k, right? So we're going to get this equation. Now, in order to be able to apply Lambert's w function, you do need something like this. You know, x e to the x, if you apply Lambert's w, you're going to get x. So that's basically the inverse function for this, but we don't have that structure. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 3. Now we get e to the 3t times 3t equals e to the 3k times 3k. And now if we Lambert's, bo if Lambert's, if we Lambert's both sides, then we're going to get 
what we need. Okay, let's go ahead and W both sides, and that's going to give us the following. W of this equals W of that. And then this gives us 3T because that's the structure we're looking for. And this one gives us 3K, which means T is equal to K. So what is T? What's K? Let's go ahead and back substitute. T is ln X and K is ln 16. And what does this tell you? This tells you that X is equal to 16, which is the same thing as 2 to the fourth power. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.